Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Creek is still up, looking great. Uh, it's, it's always, I, I don't know, for, for us around here. And it's not just here on our property because this creek goes behind it. Um, a lot of people in the area, they're always asking, what's the creek looking like? You know, we need to, it's, it's good that if it's this high this time of the year, I mean, that means they're gonna have good flow all year long. Everyone's always asking about it. It's pretty, well-known creek in the area uh, flows into a major river uh, for the state so it's 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 enjoyable it's a nice clean spring fed creek love it uh, today it's going to get filled up probably again uh, we've got some very severe weather headed our way so myself our family our emergency response team and the fire department that our 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 prepper emergency response team is attached to are all kind of getting into that mode of, of storm mode. Uh, they're calling for, you know, tennis ball, baseball size hail, uh, tornadoes, possible strong winds exceeding 60, 70 miles an hour. So yeah, we're, we're getting into that mode today. And if you are in any of those areas, I would certainly, you know, central Missouri down to southern Missouri and then moving eastward, uh, definitely be getting yourselves ready and on your toes because as we've seen the last few weeks, um, th th these severe weather patterns are pretty strong this year. Maybe not completely unusual, but it just does seem to be a strong year. Wanted to kind of talk a little bit less about all the current stuff that's going on. I mean, I'll probably mention that some in this video, but basically the message is, is that there seems to be a little bit of a a little lull. I've talked about this before in the past, how we go through periods of excitement and then things are just, they're happening. You know, a few weeks ago, it looked like Iran and Israel were ready to start World War III. We've had, you know, various things in the market happen. Uh, we, we've had, you know, domestic things happen. You know, there's been protests and riots uh, for the last few weeks now, and they're still going on. Um, there, there's always something happening. But a lot of times in between there, there seems to be a little little quieter time, maybe. Uh, and, and I think that we're, we're in that period right now, and we may be in that period for a little while. It's possible, unless something just happens um, that is dramatic over the next you know, week or so. I think that we may be in a little bit of a, of a quiet spot. And so I think we should take advantage of that because the stuff that's up on the horizon looking out ahead of us uh, seems to be very dramatic, uh, very serious things that could, could really change the course of, of our whole future. Uh, so, uh, you know, right now is the time that you should be stocking up, okay? Uh, you know, you should be uh, stocking up on the things that you need, food, water, uh, ammunition, medical supplies, I'm always a big proponent of medical supplies. Uh, and then also working on your food production, uh, working on your garden. In fact, we were gonna plant a little some uh, yesterday and today, but with the storms moving in, we've decided we have some, some plants, uh, seedling plants uh, still to go in the garden. And we've decided to hold off until maybe tomorrow or the next day, uh, depending on how this storm goes. Uh, because, you know, we put them out today, this morning or yesterday, they're probably gonna get destroyed with, with the hail that's coming in. Uh, so, so working on your food production also is, is very critical. Also over the next few weeks, you know, if there's just anything else that you just kind of need to get wrapped up, you know, any, any loose ends on your homestead, uh, when it comes to infrastructure, maybe fencing, uh, shelter for animals, uh, working out a plan for your, your home defense. You know, what, what does your perimeter defense look like? These kind of things, I would guess, are a good time, a good thing to, to, to focus on right now during this time. Um, I think a lot of times what happens, and, and I'm guilty of this too. I'm just as guilty. So that's why I'm saying this. I'm not, I'm not pointing a finger at you and saying, ah, you bad people, why don't you behave like me? Because that would be dumb for you to do that because I, I'm, I'm bad about this. We'll go through one of these time periods where it's a, it's a little on the slower side. You know, the news is slow. The, 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 the threat seems to be, have, have come down just a little bit. And what do you do? Well, you take a break from it all, right? You just enjoy life. And, and that's not a bad thing to do. We need that. We need some respite. We need time to, to 
break away. Maybe take a couple of days off. You know, you and your wife have a little, you know, weekend getaway or something like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't take the whole time and waste it away. Because a lot of times when we go through things like this, there may be sales, there may be more availability of stuff. People aren't out there panic buying things as much. And so it may be easier to get the things that we need to, to get and to do the things that we need to do. And so we should take advantage of these times. You know, when, when we're standing here right now looking ahead at the future, we see the things that are happening. Um, it, it does look like that there's a lot coming at us. You know, just yesterday I was talking about how BlackRock, the, the largest asset fund management, I mean, the, the, the one company that controls probably more than anything else, over $10 trillion worth of assets, you know, ownership of nearly every major significant business on the entire planet is telling their investors to pull their money out of U.S. dollars. Get out of U.S. dollars. It's unstable. It's unsecured. Get out of U.S. dollars. That right there should be a huge, huge warning sign for everyone. We've got, I uh, saw this morning, the, the head of Staten Island Correctional Facility, whatever, the jail there, uh, is, has made an announcement that they are now prepared to accept Donald Trump as a prisoner. While we have the judge and, and, and all that kind of stuff um, saying, hey, you know, we're going we're gonna to lock, lock Donald Trump up. We're going to lock him up. And we've got illegals pouring across the country just as much as ever before. We've got uh, Russia and Belarus doing nuclear war drills while the NATO is saying, yep, we're going to accept Ukraine in as, as part of NATO. And we've got Israel invading a ground invasion into Rafah, southern Gaza, which has the whole Middle Eastern world in a real big upset, while the Biden administration seems to be backing away from supporting Israel because of that one thing. Uh, there, there's so many things going on right now that indicate the, the near to medium distant future doesn't look very good. And, and when you set out a timeline, we're talking between now and, hey, guess what? Towards the fall, which is, <clears throat> which is the election time. So I think right now is a good time for everyone to, to, to get busy. You know, when you're, when you're, you're, when you're in, let's say, war, and the battle is imminent, and the threat is at your doorstep, your only focus is defense and taking on that threat. But when that threat level comes down and it's not quite at your doorstep, that's the time that you can go through and, and, and refit things, resupply, clean stuff, do a little training, go over, do some inspection, make sure everything is ready to go for that next threat. And that's where we are right now. We're in that time that maybe the threat isn't quite at our doorstep, but it's there out into the future. And we need to take this time to kind of re reset everything, you know, regroup and, and figure out what our, our plans are and what we need to resupply. And so I, that's, that's really the big message today is, is to do that because there's, there's definitely a lot of stuff happening. And I think that this is going to continue to be an, an, an impressive year. I, that's, I know that's not the right word, but uh, it will impress us, I think with all the craziness that's that's abound. Uh, and I, I didn't even mention the, the H5N1, you know, that's that's building and building. We had the CDC yesterday or day before warning that, that this H5N1 has every marker on it to be the next big pandemic and that they believe that it will be 300 times as, as, as deadly as the coronavirus. So <clears throat> now more than ever, it's time to start stocking up prepping up, planning up, re-gear, uh, regroup, uh, reset things, get it all ready for the next big thing, which the next big thing could be kind of one of the final things uh, leading up to this election cycle. Folks, it's time to get your houses in order and to prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.